Hello everyone and welcome to another who they are slash character reveal, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it a character reveal. Character theory, sorry. Sorry, character theory. Um, Today we're going to be going over four new characters like usual. Today we got Hammer Rock. Let me just... Look that up in the database, and that's not there. Okay, how about here? So, in this ser sort of series, we go over characters and what and who they are, pretty much. And we show the characters in a new light. Really? This guy has nothing, huh? I guess they count that as a... Okay, that's fair. That's fair. But, yeah, I took inspiration from... He's like if Thor and Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy were put into one. I don't even know any of the other lore with their their wings and whatnot but that could ex be like i just like that design anyway anyways um the design could be like a foreshadowing on how they got how they're gonna get their hammer maybe they're on a a search for the hammer i don't know if they made it it never specifies that it, they made the hammer it just says that they used the hammer that they can use the hammer so let me just look this up real quick in the database Oh, there we go. Got some lore here. Your hammer will be your failure. You're confusing me for yourself. Your hammer will be your... Okay, so his original design he had is kind of similar to this one. He kind of just had a mask. And a hammer. I kind of did better with the design. Well, I had it turned into a better design. But yeah, he had a mask and a hammer. You're confusing me for yourself. And then here, instead of it being like a normal mask, it's kind of like a parasite. Maybe he kind of sees himself. In the mask as two different people. Maybe he sees... Like, he sees himself different from the person he's talking to. He doesn't feel like he's talking to himself. When he says it right here. Maybe it's... His story can dive into... I could see his story diving into... Like who we are as people or like what is I what does I even mean what does me even mean if you understand what I'm putting down like who am I and who are you am I And with you all of the dimensions and all the extra realities and whatnot, it's going to be hard for you to, like, really see your, like, put yourself in, if you put yourself into that, that situation, really try to embrace, like, the character you are playing as, then you're going to have trouble really seeing yourself as yourself because 
I mean, there's so much of you out there that, that you can't really, com- that you can't really, like, there's no you. There's only them. It's so it's us and we, if that makes sense. So let me get this straight. In the future, I become bald. No questions about the magical humor? Okay, fine. Okay, so in this short, we're talking to... This is his past self talking to his future self. This could also be a sort of dimensional story timeline sort of saga that we we could get into so and he's and the fact that he's not worried about his sort of so let me get this straight in the future I become bald. No, I was, I was kind of, I was supposed to be com- comedic, but regardless, he's not worried about. He doesn't seem worried about his the hammer, the mask, just the fact that he is bald and whatnot. Um, and that could be, maybe that's the reason why. So we know that this character is not the most, well, they, they're not worried, right? So they're not fearing of the future, they're not fear. I feel like they're almost in awe of their future. Like, so that, like, it's so, their future is so cool that they have to, like, sort of nitpick it to even make it feel not perfect, imperfect. But they must be seeing this sort of, they must be in awe of their future, is what I'm thinking. Let's go back to this. Next one. What am I looking at here? The past and future collided into one. What? And this one is kind of the opposite. They're so they kind of feel so many different ways about the future and i feel like that's gonna be the highlight of his story like the future and the light and dark of it if you if people like they're how their future could be. I feel like that's what am I looking at here? The past and future collided into one. What am I looking at here? The past and future collided into one. That's interesting. This one? Nope. Anyways, next up, we got Lyra. Same universe as other guy, let me find him. He is kind of inspired by Luffy. But I'm thinking a more serious, blood, sort of bloodied approach here. Just 
Ah, uh, why didn't you get time? Let's see. Liar it. So he has no war. I just noticed. He has no war. In any of the databases. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'm not sure what he, like, instead of, this has to be like a sort of subversion of expectations. I wouldn't see him as a protagonist, though. I would see him as like a character that, like a support character, yeah. In the bigger scaled event sort of story line. Yeah, that's it for that guy. Next up, Small Savage. I quite frankly hate the name, naming convention I have going on here. But regardless, Right, that's not it. Um, oh, here we go. So, I took inspiration from, like, Ben 10 and his aliens. But those aliens are, like, kind of so there's an alien in front of in inside of the heart of this guy. I think that's the storyline I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna hope there's something here. Grace, okay. Bearer of gifts. Okay. Takes the victims of all sorts of gifts for their troubles. And small savage was a regular human who sacrificed his life for this beauty this web of beauty only to be betrayed and left behind to be to live a more dreadful lifestyle as a alien that look out his anger on others for what tragedies have been committed to him and he couldn't figure out what gift he was handed with all of this new revolutionary and advanced knowledge on everything except what his gift actually was and how to access that power again. So this was the thing that turned him into a monster. So, the Tangled Front, I feel like he's going to think that he was never human. He's going to forget his human life, right? And then he's going to feel like, in instead of, like, his human life was fake and his alien life was real, but it's actually the opposite. And he's trying to make it to this 
home planet of an alien species that he transformed into, but he's never had any true connection to. So, yeah, that's his tragedy. Last but not least, I need better names. Like, look at this guy. He doesn't look doesn't look that bad, but anyways, he's a thunder god. I mean, let me just see if I. Yep, just like expected. So he's a thunder god. I'm assuming he's gonna be one of the heroes. I could also see him being a villain. But... I doubt he would even get into certain things unless he had to. So I could see him swapping sides. So that's it. For today. Oh, goodbye.